second half opens with sensation. Anderson kicks off and within 30 seconds, Barlow drives for the Wolves' goal. Scott saves, but Parker rushes in to make it three for Pompey. But Scott can't hold off the mass attack forever and Pompey get yet another. I mean, in terms of becoming entering entering a hall of fame, if you if you if you scored a goal, you know, in a winning team for your for your for your, for your club in in a cup final, you know, clearly you're going to eventually get in, in, into that hall of fame. When Cliff Parker came to the club in 1933, Jack Tin bought him from Doncaster, and uh, he pretty much got into the first team not long after that. You know, he was a young kid then. Obviously, the pinnacle was the 39 cup final when he scored two goals in the 4-1 win against Wolves. And it, if it wasn't for the war years, he would have probably played 500 games for the club. I mean, the greatest story, and legend has it, that it, when he scored the first goal at Wembley against Wolverhampton, he said to the goalie, I'm coming back in another one, for another one in a minute. And, and indeed he did. The, the sad thing is that that was the last game and then the Second World War came. And, you know, football was basically secondary after that because he, he was obviously on a bit of a high then um, and I, I think he continued to play for Pompey during the war but obviously football was second consideration for most. You know, the war took out six seasons so therefore he was a player who he would have made significantly more appearances and made scored significantly more goals had the war not not intervened not only did he feature in the cup final but he also featured albeit spasmodically in the um, championship team veteran cliff parker brings it off I don't think he played enough games to win a medal. That was a sad thing about it. I think you had to play 14. Here, here's a man who Pompey's, th three of Pompey's four major trophies we won, this man played a part in. You can't say much, much more than that, can you really? It was said that the reason he wasn't capped by England because they looked on him as a, maybe a bit of a rebel, had a, a bad temper and that's probably the reason he, he wasn't ever capped. But he was probably one of the best wingers that never received an England cap. You know, he was here as a player, I think, for about 20 years. We probably, you know, not, not, Knightsey and Jimmy Dickinson are kind of like fall into that similar kind of category. But if you, if you, if you talked about the same breath as Knightsey and Jimmy Dickinson, that just goes to show how important a contribution you, you made to, to Ports and Football Club. So I think, I think yeah, very much a, a, wor a worthy entrant into the Hall of Fame.